rhetorical, compositional and harmonic analysis. Discover with me all the most curious secret of J.S. Bach's prelude number one in C major. Welcome to this new video, I'm Ricardo the Musicus Practicus and today I want to analyze with you probably the most famous piece uh, by Johann Sebastian Bach besides Beside that, I'm talking about prelude number one in C major from the first book of the well tempered clavier. And as we used to do before start and enjoy the analysis, let's listen how it sounds from the beginning up to the end. Rhetorical, compositional, and harmonic analysis. Very interesting this point. Why? And the reason is very simple because when we talk about preludes, the rhetorical component is very important. Because the prelude is a speech, and the rhetorical dispositio, so the order of all the elements, is very fundamental. About this, there are the six parts of the rhetoric. I won't talk about them about they about them now in this video because it requires a different topic, a different video, a different environment. So there's a playlist today in April 2024, not yet, not yet, or at least not complete yet. But week per week, I'm uploading this video, and in any case, you will find the playlist in the description on this channel and also the partimento.blog. So what's this prelude? This prelude is one of the most famous pieces and the rhetorical part, the rhetorical aspect is very strong. First of all, we have the exordium. The, in the exordium, we have one of the most used patterns we can have in a composition at the beginning of this style. And I'm talking about the mi fa mi, mi fa mi pattern, which you can learn in the Partimento Meto stage 6.0. 14. The Partimento method, probably you know or you don't know, is the most big, the most big, the biggest thing you can conceive about Partimento learning. You can start for free if you like. You find the link here in the description, and then if you want, basically continue this journey. Or otherwise, there are many other possibilities. This is mi fa mi pattern with 
which is set over a tight bass. And so we have two melodies, the melody in the bass. Fa, fa, mi, fa. As you can clearly see here, fa, fa, mi, fa, following the tight bass pattern. In order to check all these structures and these elements, download the free ebook you can download with the, all the patterns in order so that you can go to the page about mi fa mi and you can see how the, is the mi fa mi, which is under sol fa mi, stage 6.14. The stages are the same, so in the index, check uh, mi fa mi, sol fa mi, 6.14. And so you can compare this with what you can see here. So this is the exordium. Mi Very beautiful, simple and at the same time beautiful. The harmony is 3, 2 for 6 and 5, 6 and then 3. So rhetorical, exordium, compositional we have the pattern mi fa mi and then harmonic 3, 2 for 6 following the tight bass pattern and 5, 6 and 3. This. After the exordium, we have we encounter the narratio. The narratio is the second part of the dispositio. See it, see that in the playlist about rhetoric. And the narratio, the, the narratio, the composer or you, if you are a composer, start to tell a story, to continue the story. And so it's very common to find a sixth. If we look at each element, we can see this in the bass. Fa, fa, mi, mi, re, sol, do, which is nothing more than a printer. And if we check, if we have the melody of the printer, we have la, sol, fa, mi, la, la. Have the melody of the printer. Also, in this case, download the free ebook, check printer, departmental method stage 6.5 because the ebook is follows the departmental method order, so 6.5, and compare la, sol, fa, fa, mi with this one, which is a modulating printer, so a printer starting on degree 1, moving up to degree 5. Then, 3 6. 2 for 6, this is the harmony. 3 6 and 2 for 6. And at the same time, the top voice features, because we have to imagine this like five voices, of course. Five down, fourth up, five down, fourth up, featuring with the bass 6, 2, 6, 2, and then it continues in another way and this is something you can also learn in the Partimento method didn't write it, let's write it right now in stage in chapter 2 um, TPM in stage 2 point uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 2.7 exactly in 2.7 <laughs> so many stages but I remember them so
narratio is the continuation of the speech. The numeration of the narratio is, as you can clearly see in this point, 6-3, because we open the harmony to the sixth, then 2 4 six in this point, 3-6, then 2 4 six, following the pattern called tight bass, you can learn in the Partiment Method stages 3.5 and 8 point something, I think, 8.4, I don't remember it, but join because you can join for free and you can see uh, all the curriculum. Making music alone can be boring, doing together with other friends can be a lot of fun. Many musician friends from all over the world are waiting to meet you on our server Discord. A totally free community where you can share your works, exchange your thoughts, learn and help other musicians like yourself. We can't wait to meet you too! Join our Discord server now! Click on this link, verify your account and say hello to your new friends! And then the bass moving fifth down, so seven in this point, and then seventh again. This way, tuck. Good. Now. After this we have another part, the proposition. but first of all let's say again this, what we have in this part, narratio, compositional point of view, we have printer, two, two six suspension chain, then the printer in the bass, tied bass pattern, The, uh, from an harmonic point of view, we have 6, 3, 6, 2, 4, 6, 3, 6, 2, 4, 6, 3, 7, 3, 7 with the sharp, and 3, 5. And then we arrive to degree 5. Okay, proposizio. In the proposizio, we have other elements. In the proposizio, the speech must arrive to, should arrive to its central. So, to its center, central point. Now, what do we have here? First of all, it's very interesting how Bach, after a cadence to the fifth degree, uses this pattern, which is to D minor, and then to C major. And that's very similar to a fonte, or I would say, that's a fonte, or an hermaphrodite fonte, because here we have the um, we have this, which is a flat. The hermaphrodite fonte check stage of the Partimento method 6.9. You, you can see how the hermaphrodite fonte works and practice with all the exercises. So three, four sharp. Six. This is a structure, and then six. Also, here we have the tight bass in the bass. The department to bass three point five and eight point five. The tight bass. Yes, I remember it. It's written, of course. And then also here the same thing. A step down. Three, four, six, and three six. So, very good. After the fonte, tie the bass. And if you pay attention, Sol, Fa, La, Mi, Re, Sol, Do, Do, Fa, Mi, Re, Sol, Do. We 
have a second printer because look at the scale. Fa after the beginning we have the printer. Fa mi re sol do. Fa mi re sol do. So another printer which helps us to come back to C major and the end of the proposizio. So we also have another printer, which is the normal printer, not, so not modulating printer, from degree 4 to degree 1. And it starts here, so let's write printer, another printer, printer, and TPM is already written here, 6.5, TPM 6.5. Ah, so, so. where we have the fonte, where we have the tight bass, where we have the printer. Confutatio. And here, chromaticism is the essence of the confutatio. So after tonal things, chromaticism arrives to give the opposite of the thesis in this rhetorical speech. There's the playlist about all the confutatio and the other parts, watch it or wait for it because I have to create it today. I mean, in April 2024. So, seven, diminished seventh, so this way, two for six, six, two, four, two, four, six, followed by a seventh. And this point, the seventh, is the beginning of the confirmatio, after the confutatio. So, let's see the confutatio, which is a p the part with the contrast, chromaticism. Seventh, diminished seventh. Another diminished seventh, we can say in the um, third inversion in modern terms, but another two for six. And then... Fifth degree. It's very interesting because the confirmatio, one of the most important things of the confirmatio and one of the most common things is the ponte. So another pattern you can learn in the Partimento method stage 6.12, which consists in a long fifth degree pedal. In this case, we have seven, seven, three, uh, yes, five, It's very interesting because we have the a count of a double cadence in this point, double, which also you can learn in the Partimento Meto stay uh, chapter 4 and chapter 7. The count on cadence, as you can see, is a cadence starting this point and arriving up to this point. This. So, fa, fa, mi, re. Seven. Four, six, three, four, three, yeah, five, four, three, eight. This is the compound cadence, the uh, double cadence. The double cadence, which is simple cadence plus double cadence, is evaded. By the chromaticism, so. Contrary motion. Re, mi, fa, fa, fa. Two, four, six, seven. Fa, sol, which then opens to another four, six. Sol, fa, fa, mi. And so we have then a true, we could say, through double cadence, 
which is completed by the cadence. Fa, sol, fa, fa, mi. So before passing to the perorazio, the, per the last phase, let's talk about the confirmatio. From an harmonic point of view, we have this chord, seven, four, six, five, uh, four, five, seven, three, seven, two, four, six, seven, four, six, seven, four, five, seven, three, five, seven, and from a compositional point of view, we have the fifth degree pedal, so G, and from a rhetorical point of view, we have the ponte, which is a long fifth degree, so all the things are, connect are connected. And this leads to the peroratio, so the final part. Peroratio, where you can confirm and say your um, the, the thesis you expressed in the beginning. And in this case, just a quiescence of. Pattern here is the quiescenza, so let's write the pattern quiescenza, which you can learn in the partimento method. Quiescenza, the partimento method, there is everything, everything you can conceive about this quiescenza. And the beautiful thing is that you can start for free. You have, I think, around 200 of uh, free videos in total. There are 1000 videos, amazing. So, <laughs> quiescenza is in stage uh, TPM stage 6.7 6 6.7 quiescenza yes so and the final part the peronazio confirms our thesis in C major So, from a rhetorical point of view, we have the peroratio at the end. From a compositional point of view, we have the quiescenza. And from an harmonical point of view, we have 7 3 with a, seven, with a flat 7, 4 6, 2 4 7, 3 5. This. And so, this is how this prelude is composed with its very beautiful nuances. with it's very beautiful taste with its very beautiful maestro because also a piece like this contains a true and authentic rhetorical speech a true authentic demonstration on how you can compose or write simple piece a simple piece but with a solid foundation of the musical rhetorical speech and so what to say very nice it has been very beautiful to analyze this prelude with you and now, the challenge consists in finding and uh, uh, learning all these patterns and in becoming able to combine them. How to do this? There are many possibilities, there are many ways. If you want to try the Partimento method, it's, for, it's free, you can start for free. Description, join it, and also download the free ebook. When you join the Partimento method, you can download the free ebook, so it's within the free course. And if you like, continue. This PDF with all the analysis, all the recipes, or the other things are on Patreon. So, with a little monthly membership, you have the access to a very big amount of amazing things. See you on the Partimento Method and on Patreon, and of course, in the next video. Abracadabra! Words are not just sounds, but powerful spells. Words are not just letters but living thoughts. Words are not just writings, but magical ingredients. Words allow you to learn and understand better, because it is only when you know how to say something and how to name or describe it that you truly know it. In the Partimento method, you can learn how to compose your own music and release the creative musician hidden within you with the magical say and play exercise. With these exercises, you will become very good to play all the patterns of musical composition through all the keys and transforming them into your music by adding lots of diminutions. 
Say the name of the letters you play. Say the solmization syllables. And say the names of the intervals you play. Start now for free and experience the power of say and play exercises. Click on this link, register your free account, and start now your magical journey. Abracadabra!